Hey there, this is Lynette Proach, a solutions consultant over at TriMech. And this video is going to talk about uh, creating a bill of material in the X drawing app on the 3D Experience platform. So let's kind of just dive in. You know, I need to create a bill of material. I need to create a view that has a item numbered list of all of the different parts that I have inside of my assembly. So we can see I've kind of done some of the work for us already. I have my assembly already all set. And then with X drawing, it's a little bit different than other CAD programs where a lot of the definition and things like that are going to be created in the uh, 3D view. So we're doing a lot of model based definition here. Um, we're going to create views, then we're going to create some annotation sets, and then we can import those sets into a 2D view if we need to. So I've already created a few views, right? I have a front view, a right view, and an isometric view. And then we can see in my front view, I have gone in and I have added some ballooned annotations, right? So I used my balloon tool, which is right here, created all of these different annotations, um, and this is looking really good. So I need to create a bill of material. And if I want to create it in uh, a 2D space, let's see how we can do that. I have the feature create sheet. And if I use that, my X drawing app will bring up my new sheet. I can have a new name for it. I can use a standard format. I can customize my format if I need to. We'll just go with uh, standard, right? We'll leave it at landscape, All right? And let's add this guy in here. And now that I have a 2D sheet, I can go in and I can actually just drag and drop my front view over from my little uh, tree directly into my view. I'm gonna want it about right here. All right, and because we have that annotation set uh, attached to that view, right, I have all these balloons already attached to that view. So when I pulled it into this 2D drawing, the balloons came with it. So now if I want to create a bill of material, we have our uh, annotation tab again, and we all the way on the right, we have general table of or bill of materials. So of course, let's choose some bill of materials. Right, and I'm just going to insert, let's see, upper right. For this view. And I can now move and insert my bomb. All right, and we can see I have a bill of material. I have item numbers, quantities, you know, the title, which is going to be the name of all these different parts. And then we can see we have some other things that I don't have filled out, like description of the parts or their material or their weight. So let's edit this bomb. I can do that by either double clicking on it or right clicking. And then we get our uh, edit table cells. I'm just going to snap it to the side so I have a little bit more room. Um, and in here, we can actually go in and we can edit all of our different columns. Like for this, I don't need a weight. I also don't need material. Right, because if I have, you know, detail uh, parts and things like that, my bill material might not need it. So now that I've deleted those other columns, maybe this column, I want to change the attribute, right? So maybe I don't want this to be a uh, description. So I can pretty easily go here once I have it highlighted and I can change, you know, the description of it. And maybe some of these things are from different collaborative spaces. Maybe I want to say, you know, hey, what revision are these things um, all in? Maybe you know, we need to go back and we do need to, you know, know the weight of it. Uh, I'm going to change it, we'll say, Let's do collaborative space, just so we can see where all these parts are saved. All right, and just like that, I've now gone in here and I've uh, updated my bill of material.
So we're all done and that's looking really great. I have my collaborative space so I know where all these different parts are saved. I have the item number and uh, their quantities and then what their part names are. Right, so just like that, I was able to really easily go in here and create uh, a bill of material. Right, I might need to adjust the size, <laughs> so this is a little bit small. Um, but yeah, so creating bills of material in uh, our X drawing app, it's pretty easy. We just have a feature that we can use over here on the right. All right, and with that, we are done. I have a bill of material. I have a view with my balloons uh, that I now have in here. So I can now you know, export it and get this to the people that need it. All right, so that's how we can create bills of material in the X drawing app on a, um, on a 2D, 2D drawing sheet. So of course, if you have any other questions, you can always feel free to uh, contact us at Trimac and we're more than happy to you know, talk to you guys about your uh, 3D experience endeavors. So hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.